flexing. You've been using your cheeks a little too often, bro. I'm starting to think you're a cheek master. Yo, today we got my brain is smooth. I guess Hamination has a smooth brain. I don't know what's going on there. Um, you need to go to the doctor, my guy. <laughs> Oh. Hi, I'm Bryson. Let me give you some context. Basically, I have an overactive imagination. Bro, it's been 13 seconds. Why am I looking at a monkey's cheeks right now? And why is it thick as hit? You know what? Nation. And a few years ago, I, yeah, I didn't say that. Cut that out the video. Left. All three of those videos are old and bad, and you do not have my permission to watch them. All you need to know Bro. is that I'm going to talk about the strange things watch video? my imagination is made up, and it's going to be weird. Imagination is for dorks. <laughs> Oh, bro, bro, how many times? No, no, no. This guy needs to learn to stop talking crap to Braxton, bro. Because every single time he always whacks him, bro. Like, are you, are you, are you obsessed with getting whacked in the head? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, imagination is what's for going dorks. On, <laughs> to keep with tradition, we'll start by talking about this channel's mascot, the ham. This little guy. Hey. Hams are little cutie pies that make the friends ham? with everyone. They can roll around and just kind of do whatever they want. Most hams are kind of small, but I imagine some of them to be huge. Damn, boy, he thick! They like to bounce <laughs> around, and they can be really stretchy. Also, they can be really fast and roll around like Sonic. Hams are one of the many creatures me and my friends made up together. Some of my other favorite creatures include Scrumbos, Grompers, the Pithecus and its evolutions, Bro, what are Pushkins, these creatures? and the Gremlins. I imagine them to hang out on big floating gardens where they do magic and play games. Hocus pocus, bro. you've lost your focus. <laughs> the dinosaurs didn't go extinct. Yo, I need that spell right now, bro. Really cool to see how the dinosaurs and humans coexist. What if the dinosaurs got domesticated? There could be pet dinosaurs, and they could help us build society. Imagine Yo, having a big pet T Rex that I imagine having dinosaurs as a pet, bro. Imagine just climbing up your T Rex and going to work. Did like, bro, that would be kind of lit. <laughs> And if they were like <laughs> dogs, there could be different breeds of the dinosaurs with different colorations and stuff. <laughs> and instead of driving to your friend's what does that house, sound, you could just bro? ride your pterodactyl there. I mean, I really hope the dinosaurs would be nice, but we have an entire movie franchise about how that's not the case. What the? Yo, Bryson! You've been using your cheeks a little too often, bro. I'm starting to think you're a cheek master, because how the hell... Did you fart into the thing so it can blow air? Like, I don't get it, bro. Bryce is kind of thick. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He kind of... Cut that part out. What the... What if ocean life could fly instead of swim? Can you imagine if there were just big whales floating around? And there would be little fish chilling out in the trees and you could fly around on dolphins? Bro. But also, that would be really scary if there was a great Playing white a shark that wandered into a neighborhood. Me and my Bro. friends used to always make comics what? about the ham together, but we have a lot of Jeez, other Academy is crazy. One of my personal favorites were the wizards. Sometimes the wizards would be good guys that would help our heroes, while other times they were evil and would turn people's heads into onions. You never know. <laughs> Bro. But my favorite part would be when the ham would defeat the wizards and would use their hats to become a wizard ham. <laughs> also, you can't is everybody's ham, spell just blowing the only up everybody? way to have a ham stay with you is to befriend it. Even if a bad guy put a ham in a steel box, the ham would just... Also, a <laughs> ham is the best judge of character. That's why the best heroes in the land are often that? accompanied by hams. <clears throat> but if you have a ham and start doing bad stuff, the ham is going to leave you until you start being good again. Damn, that's so you have to be good. that's why almost no YouTubers have a ham. Because all YouTubers are terrible people. Except me. My ham never leaves me because I'm so much better than all of you. And oh, I'm the your, best ham, your ham only doesn't leave you because you're thick, Bryson. That's the only reason, bro. Like, bro, what you mean all YouTubers? I'm not bad, bro. I'm not bad, bro. I'm not bad, bro. I'm not bad, bro. Chat, am I bad? Chat, be honest. Am I bad? Kneel before me. Wait, no, come back. I'm sorry. And if you like the ham or me, then you'll be happy to know that we got two new big plushies. One of the ham oh, and one always of does w promos. They are much bigger than last time too. The ham has the ability to read said. your soul and judge your purity, and the Bryson is a functioning Bro. voodoo doll of me. Watch. 
How would the ham know? I don't know, this bro. This is the best merch I've made Thanksgiving, my ham doesn't and talk, so. we worked really hard on it. So it if you want to support stomach. me, scroll down to the merch shelf or link in the description and buy a plush. And if you buy both... Scroll down to the link in the description and buy the Live Fam Gang merch. Thank you very much. ...any toy airplanes that I could sit in to the video. When I was younger, I would imagine these tiny toy airplanes that I could sit in and fly around in. Can you imagine how fun it would be to float around in your own personal little airplane? Bro, you that'd be scary, bro. Right? Nerf guns and have a dogfight in the skies. <laughs> I also used to imagine peacefully floating around in little hot air balloons to explore the skies. Who's been in a I hot air balloon before, I imagine me and my bro. friends visiting the floating gardens that I'm all the creatures those. hang out at. But again, floating around <clears throat> in hot air balloons would be really dangerous if sharks could fly. But sharks are scared of killer Yo. whales, so maybe you could make the hot air balloon look like an orca to keep the sharks away. Dude, back off. Also, <laughs> did you know that dolphins can beat up sharks? I swam with a dolphin once. Wait, really? Dolphins are very smart, and because of this, they know where to hit the shark to deal maximum damage. They punch the sharks in the gills with their noses. <laughs> if we take a look at the dolphin's brain, Yo, not the flight lab, all these bro. smarty, wrinkly bits throughout the brain. This allows the dolphin to have big brain thoughts, like punching the sharks in the gills. However, okay. if we take a look at my brain, we can see that there aren't any smarty wrinkles. It's yeah, totally smooth. Yeah, you have a smooth brain, bro. Since there aren't any big brain thoughts happening in my brain, it leaves space open for other thoughts to happen. Why your brain look like some big cheeks? What if sharks could fly? I've made a chart that explains the three different types of brains. At the bottom, we've got smooth brain. No smarty wrinkles means that no big brain thoughts can happen. However, smooth brains have a lot of imagination. This is the kind of brain I have. <laughs> In the middle, we've got a caveman brain. Pricey. This brain has wrinkles, but it's kind of small. This brain has 50% intelligence and 50% imagination. Ooga booga, pizza. So you're telling me all Bryson has is imagination. Got big brain. It has wrinkles That's like me, a chat, big brain. brain, but it's much bigger, meaning a lot of big brain thoughts happen in this brain. However, yes, sir. big brains have no imagination. They just do math and go beep boop. I'm smart science. Ha ha. Big brain time. However, bro, that's not a true, brain bro. of myth above all the rest known as huge brain. These brains have a no, hundred percent me. intelligence and a hundred percent imagination. Yes, sir. That's like me, chat. I have People three who things have this I have brain have the biggest big brain thoughts of all time. And yes, sir. they also have imagination. They're basically just like you and You're me. You're literally small brains, They are better than you and me in absolutely every way. Ooh. If there are any huge brains watching, I am scared of you. I don't trust you. Stay away. Another what? Note. Since I have a smooth brain, whenever I see someone who has a huge brain, I get really discouraged because they're so much smarter than me. It just makes me feel inferior. Yeah, it's because you're so smooth, bro. <laughs> but according some to wrinkles. the graph, I am inferior. So, feeling <laughs> inferior is the correct response. <laughs> All right, the moral oh. of the story is hams are adorable, sharks shouldn't fly. That's like a tongue twister. Sharks shouldn't fly. The moral of the story sharks is should, hams are sharks adorable, should fly. sharks shouldn't fly, and I have smooth brain. Also, I love you and subscribe. Goodbye. Oh, guys. <laughs> what the I'm All really right. excited about those plushies. I worked really hard on them, and I really... Yo, that was a W video, but Bryson, bro, you got to put some wrinkles in that brain, man, because you're too smooth for this shit, bro. Like, and your cheek's too fat, bro. Like, you, I don't know what... Bryce, did Bryson get a BBL, bro? Comment, comment down below. If Bryson got a BBL, I need to know, bro. Because what the hell? Why is his cheek so fat all the time? Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Yo!